from mysterious underwater ferry rings to a sunken ship like you won't believe. Here are 12 of the most incredible things ever found underwater. Number 12. The CSS Alabama Artifacts in 1984, a French vessel sweeping for mines in the English Channel discovered the wreckage of something incredible underwater. It was a ship built near the Liverpool Harbor back in 1862 in secret, named the CSS Alabama. The ship was crafted for the Confederate States of America and spent the next almost two years raiding shipping routes throughout the Atlantic and all the way to the Caribbean. But it met its downfall in 1864 when it tried to battle the Union warship Kearsarge in the English Channel. The battle lasted about an hour, and the CSS Alabama was sunk, lost under the waves until 120 years later. When the wreckage was discovered in 1984, it was pretty exciting for everybody. Excavations went on from between 1989 to the year 2002, with over 500 fascinating artifacts being rescued. There were some pretty boring artifacts recovered, such as toilets, dishes, and ordinary things from daily life. But there were also some cannons brought to the surface that were very nice. The CSS Alabama had eight cannons, with the biggest being a Blakely 7-inch, 100-pound rifled cannon. Number 11. Mysterious Underwater Fairy Rings Strange rings have been spotted underwater, and the bizarre sight of them has sparked all kinds of bizarre conspiracy theories from aliens to fairies. The striking rings are up to 49 feet wide, located off the coast of Denmark. They were first captured in photographs taken by tourists in 2008, then again in 2011. They basically look like crop circles underneath the water. At the time, nobody could figure out just what in the world these mysterious underwater rings were. But now it seems the mystery has been solved. They're not leftover explosions from World War II, and they weren't left over by alien spaceships. Instead, they're simply rings of green eelgrass. According to biologists from the University of Southern Denmark, the rings of eelgrass are formed because of toxins that build up in the mud on the seabed. When eelgrass grows, it does so outwards in a circle. When the eelgrass meets the toxic mud, it stops growing, creating what looks like fairy circles under the water. Number 10. The Sunken City of Adlit Yam Underwater archaeologists in Israel discovered a Neolithic fishing village that was flooded 9,000 years ago when the water level began to rise. The amazing site is about 1,200 feet offshore in the Bay of Adlit, only about 30 feet below the surface of the water. It's actually one of the best preserved underwater prehistoric settlements in the world. It was first discovered in the 1980s, with excavations going on between 1985 and 2000. This is the sunken settlement of Atlit Yam. But it's not just a prehistoric village. The site also contains a giant megalith in its center, built of seven huge stones arranged in a semicircle around an ancient wellspring. All kinds of amazing things have been found here, from pieces of pottery to the remains of roughly 100 different plants that had been cultivated by the ancient people. Archaeologists also found the bones of domestic animals, suggesting sophisticated architecture was going on here a very long time ago. And yes, archaeologists discovered human remains. There weren't many, but there were enough to paint a pretty vivid picture of the people who lived here. One of the most fascinating things about the population of Adlit Yam is that many of them lived to be over 50 years old. Even just 200 years ago, that was like living to be 100 today. Number 9. The Megalodon a video has surfaced that some claim is proof that the extinct megalodon is actually still alive and swimming through the world's oceans. The video was captured somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic, taken from on board a sailing ship. The ship and its passengers had been sailing through the Atlantic for about six weeks when a giant shark, seemingly 20 feet in length or more, appeared in the crystal blue waters for just a few seconds before once more vanishing into the deep. This is extraordinary because on average, the great white shark only grows to be around 15 feet, and this one was clearly much larger. Could it have been a baby megalodon? The answer is maybe. The megalodon has been extinct for about 3.6 million years, but hey, maybe somewhere one survived and evaded detection, and this huge unidentified shark is its offspring. Number 8. Hot Air Balloon Jelly Deep underwater in a submerged canyon off the coast of Puerto Rico, a marine blob has been discovered. What exactly is this strange marine blob? Well, it looks like an underwater hot air balloon. It has a completely translucent body shaped like a balloon with two string-like tentacles trailing behind it. The creature is also incredibly vibrant. When any light hits it, it refracts the light and shines with a prism of rainbow color. The blob was discovered by researchers with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. 
They found a small party of them for the first time in 2015 at a depth of 13,000 feet. But it wasn't until just recently that the team identified the unknown blobs as a new species of tiny invertebrate predators known as sea walnuts or comb jellies. Scientifically, they're known as stenophores. It's not that unusual for scientists to discover some kind of new blob in the ocean. What was really amazing about this discovery was that scientists did it all strictly from pictures. Because the blob was so deep in the ocean and they only saw it with remotely operated vehicles, they weren't actually able to get a physical specimen. But still, they did their homework and identified a new species of living underwater balloon. Number 7. Sunken UFO Thanks to Google Maps, internet sleuth and online UFO investigator Scott Waring may have discovered proof of a fleet of alien spacecraft resting on the bottom of the sea. Where is this mysterious fleet of aliens hiding? Apparently just off the coast of Greece. And these aren't any ordinary spaceships either. They are massive. Scott estimated the smallest ship to be around 262 feet across. That's about the size of an American football field. Scott was even able to determine roughly when the UFOs arrived off the Greek coast by going back and looking through old satellite pictures from the area. The first UFO made its appearance back in 2016, with more coming later. However, nobody knows why the ships are there or if they're even real. Some say Scott is looking at totally ordinary shapes underwater and turning them into UFOs. After all, the UFOs Scott claims belong to aliens really just look like circular formations off the coast. Until we see some legit flying saucers and little green men, this one might be a wash. Number 6. World War II Silver In November 1942, the SS city of Cairo was sunk by a German U-boat. The ship carried almost 300 passengers, but besides that, it was also carrying 100 tons of silver. It sunk 16,800 feet below the water, where it was lost until 2011, when Deep Ocean Search decided to go look for the lost gold. Why didn't anyone look for it before? How had nobody found it yet? I mean, that's quite a bit of treasure. Back in 1942, the SS city of Cairo embarked on a journey from India to deliver silver rupees to England as part of the war effort. It only took two torpedoes to win the life of over 100 people. Good night, sorry for sinking you, the captain told the ship as he and most of the others escaped on the lifeboats. Although the ship was discovered in 2011, mysteriously, the British government kept it a secret until 2015. By then, the silver was all melted into coins and sold. The amount of silver found was worth about $50 million. But what's really astounding is the record set by the sunken ship, for the SS city of Cairo is the largest and deepest recovery of precious metal from a shipwreck in maritime history. Number 5. Rare Deep Sea Fish Floating in the water near Port Angeles, a paddleboarder made a very strange discovery. He found a fish from the deep with an eyeball so big it looked like a dinner plate. The paddleboarder wasn't sure just what he'd come across, though he knew it was special. Luckily, officials with the Harbor Wild Watch happened to be in the area at the time and were able to investigate the strange creature. They identified it as a ribbon fish, also called the King of Salmon. It's almost never seen in the wild, making it very rare that one was found literally floating around near the shore. They usually live 3,000 feet deep along the Pacific coastline between Washington and British Columbia. This particular specimen was just shy of 5 feet, and experts believe it probably got caught in the surf and washed inland where it was discovered. Here's a bit of background on the King of Salmon. The local Macaw tribe spoke of the fish in legend, saying that each year it was the King of Salmon that led the normal salmon back to their spawning grounds. Eating or catching this fish was forbidden in the old days. They feared that if man killed the King of Salmon, all the salmon would vanish. Number 4. The Uluburun Shipwreck off the coast of Turkey, archaeologists have been investigating the Uluburun shipwreck for years. The ship was crafted by the ancient Phoenician civilization and destroyed sometime around 1330 BC. It was on its way from Lycia to Greece with a cargo full of trading goods when it sank over 3,000 years ago. It sat on the bottom of the sea undiscovered until 1984, when marine archaeologists began taking artifacts and treasures out from the sunken vessel. So far, they've rescued 17 tons of artifacts. This has given researchers a vast wealth of knowledge regarding interactions across the Mediterranean Sea during the Bronze Age. The ship was only about 150 feet beneath the surface, meaning it was relatively easy for divers to get every last piece of the shipwreck out. It did take about 22,400 dives, but they managed to do it. Some of the most impressive items included 348 copper ingots crafted from pure copper in Cyprus. This wasn't a battle vessel filled with war relics. It was a real trading ship. Archaeologists also found 120 ingots of pure tin, 
and 150 jars filled with terebinth resin from Israel that would have been used in building projects. Number 3. Unknown Colossus Using a remotely operated vehicle, a deep-sea diver made a rather horrifying discovery. It was almost 3,000 feet beneath sea level when he stumbled upon what looked to be the bones of a giant. This wasn't a professional dive by any official organization. It was more like the deep-sea equivalent to a guy with a metal detector, seeing as remotely operated vehicles are getting more affordable for amateur treasure hunters to get a hold of. Because of this, the discovery does need to be taken with a grain of salt. That said, it does look legit. The diver uploaded the video footage he took using the vehicle online, showing what is unmistakably the spinal column of an animal probably more than 90 feet long. Some have speculated it could be the bones of a dead blue whale or an oarfish, while others say it could be the leftover remains of an undiscovered sea dragon or even a recently deceased dinosaur. Unfortunately, the diver was unable to retrieve any pieces of the skeleton and bring them to the surface, so we actually have no way of knowing what kind of monster we're dealing with. Number 2. Yonaguni Monument this strange structure can be found near the island of Yonaguni, Japan. In 1987, Kihachiro Arataki, a director of the Yonaguni Cho Tourism Association, was out looking for sharks when he noticed singular seabed formations resembling architectonic structures. Soon after, a group of scientists looked into the case. Although popular with locals and tourists, it wasn't until 10 years later that Japanese industrialist Yasuo Watanabe sponsored an expedition for Discovery Channel. They claim to have found artifacts such as bowls and tools left behind by an old civilization. The monument is made up of very fine sandstones and mudstones of the lower Miocene Yeyama group. There's no telling how old this could be, but it's believed to be from ancient times. They're not freestanding but connected to underlying rocks. Although there are two space pillars at almost 8 feet tall, a 16-foot wide ledge surrounding the base on three sides, a 24-foot column, a 33-foot wall, a star, and a turtle-shaped platform and other structures, the main feature is a rectangular formation that's 490 by 130 feet wide and 90 feet tall. The top is only 16 feet below sea level. There's an ongoing argument as to whether these monuments are man-made monoliths or a natural occurrence. Although locals may disagree, neither the government nor Japan's Agency of Cultural Affairs will recognize the site as important and therefore will not carry out research or preservation measures. The significance of this site remains unexplained. Number 1. Wreck of the Taiyo Off the coast of the Solomon Islands in a beautiful underwater location called the Nono Lagoon, there's a mysterious fishing vessel parked at a 90-degree angle. This is the wreckage of the Taiyo tuna ship, which ran aground after hitting the coral reef. During an attempted rescue of the fishing ship, it slipped over the edge of the reef and landed vertically with its nose pointing to the surface. Now, it's one of the most picturesque wrecks anywhere in the world. It's home to a host of interesting fish and other marine life, and it's a popular spot for anyone who likes to do a bit of adventure diving. Other than simply being one of the coolest and most intriguing diving locations in the world, nothing all that mysterious has been discovered here. It's just a cool place you've never heard of before. Would you ever explore a sunken ship? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the newest videos and we'll see you next time right here on American Eye.